Hello there. Welcome to the use case diagram tutorial video. In this video, you will learn what is a use case diagram and its use. We'll also break the use case diagram into components and go over it one by one. And lastly, we'll build a use case diagram for a case study involving a table booking mobile app. Let's look at a use case diagram. Now. A use case diagram looks like what you see on the screen. Uh, the purpose of a use case diagram is to demonstrate the different ways that a user might interact with the system. It is helpful in documenting the functional requirements and will help the development team to build a solution in line with the business requirements. Does this diagram look complex? Let's break it down into components. Use case diagram comprises of four components. Component number one is the actor. The actor represents the users who will be interacting with the system. The actor can be a person, organization, or another system. There are two types of actors, primary and the secondary. Primary actor is the one who triggers the use case. Secondary actor participates in a reactionary way to achieve the goal of a use case. Primary actor are indicator on the left side of the diagram, and the secondary actor is on the right side of the use case diagram. Component number two, the system is a solution which you're developing. It can be a website, an application, or a software component. It is represented by a rectangle with the name of the solution at the top. Number three, use case. Use case is depicted by an oval-shaped icon and describes what the system does. A use case has a unique name. The name describes the action taken by the actor. They will be within the rectangle and forms the scope of the solution being developed. Each use case maps to a functional requirement. Uh, component number four, associations. Associations are the relationship between the actors and the use case. It is indicated by a straight line on the use case diagram. There is another type of relationship that is between the use cases. So there are two types of uh, relationship uh, between the use cases. One is extend, the other one is include. They are indicated by a dotted line with the words include and extend, extend written on them. Include a use case in a simple words is, is basically a use case invoked every time when the base use case is invoked by the actor. It is separated out so that this use case can be used by the other use cases as well. For example, a shared functionality required by several use cases would be a include use case. The next is an extend. Extend use case usually represents an alternate flow and this use case is only triggered under certain conditions. Now let's look at the use case diagram again and let's identify four components which we discussed. Number one, the actor, which are indicated by uh, number one. Uh, the primary is on the left and the secondary actor is on the right. Number two, which is the system indicated by the number two here and this forms the solution scope. Number three, these are the oval shaped icons which the system uh, needs to possess or you know the features of the uh, system which you are trying to build which are indicated by number three and lastly number four, these are the associations which uh, show the relationship between the actor and the use case and the relationship between the use cases. Next off, let's build a use case diagram for a case. James is a VA working with a client running a restaurant called Bacon Gardens. The client is looking for a mobile app which will allow the customers to book a table. James is going to document the user interactions through a use case diagram for submission to the development team. The features which the client have requested for is in the app, the customers can register, they can log in and they can use the app to book a table and the app should check for availability of the table before confirming it to the customer and also display an error message if the table is unavailable. So now let's go and build a use case diagram for this particular case study. First off, we start off with a big rectangle to indicate the solution. And in this case, this is a table booking app. So we will name this as a table booking app. Secondly, the actor, the main focus here is the customer who will be using the app to book the tables. Since he's a primary who is going to trigger the use case, 
is on the left hand side and then we start off with the oval shaped icons which are the use cases which represents the functionality or the features which were requested by the client so the first feature was register the second one was login the third feature was book a table and now lastly we will draw a association indicating the relationship between the actor and the use case through a straight line so this comprises the basic uh, feature set of this particular app now let's try to enhance this include the additional requirements so once the table has been booked the restaurant needs to be notified and the table has to be blocked for the customer this is represented by restaurant as a secondary actor and with an association between book a table use case and the restaurant actor and there are also additional functionalities for check a table and uh, throwing out an error message when there is no table available so let's see how we can represent that in the use case diagram so every time book a table use case is involved there are uh, the use case for check availability is also invoked hence this particular use case of checking availability is an include use case and the relationship between a book a table and check availability is uh, indicated with the dotted lines with the words include on them let's say if the tables are not available for a particular day and time which the customer have selected then an error message needs to be displayed to the customer since this is not triggered every time, it's only triggered when the table is not available for that particular condition. Hence, it is indicated by a uh, extend use case. As you see in the diagram, uh, book a table use case is uh, linked to a display table and available use case through a dotted lines and with the words extend written on it. So this kind of uh, summarizes what the client is looking for and it would be easy for the developers to visualize the functionalities and the interaction which will help them to build a solution in line with the client's expectation. I uh, hope you uh, enjoyed this video. If so, then please go ahead and subscribe to our channel right now. We post a VA tutorial every single week so that you don't miss out. Until the next video, thank you so much.